But we don't run around hallucinating all the time. We don't always mistake, it, mistake our images for objects. In fact, it's fairly rare. Why is that? Well, images differ from percepts in a number of crucial ways. For one thing, images are very short-lived. If you think about the back of the brain here and what it does in perception and what it doesn't do, well, one thing it doesn't do is as you move your eyes around, you don't get smearing. Okay? It's likely that the neural patterns of activation don't linger very long every time you move your eyes. So that's good for perception, but if we're using the same machinery for imagery, it implies that images are often going to be like a flash. If I ask you a question, it's going to flash up and then fade. So in, the, in, the, in perception, you've got the world out there. That's sort of your memory for you. You can always look back to what you looked at. It's, it's driving the system from outside. In imagery, you've got memory information driving the system. And that takes effort, and images fade quickly. So that's one big difference. The I images tend to, to fade, whereas in the world, You've got the stuff out there driving it. Uh, another difference is that I might want something to be present or absent in the world, but that's not going to make it so. But in images, I have control over that. In fact, I can even transform things. So I can do things like the following. Imagine the uppercase letter N. Okay? If you imagine it rotating 90 degrees clockwise, is it another letter? I can move things around like that in my image. I can't do that kind of thing in the world. Third, images tend to be less vivid. They tend to be less sharp. The edges seem to be dimmer. And there's much wider individual differences. Some people barely get any imagery at all. Some don't get any imagery at all, maybe 2% if that. Uh, even people who have very good imagery uh, report that objects in their images are not quite as sharp or vivid as they see them normally. Now, some people with drugs report that they are as sharp under certain drugs. I'm talking about normal imagery. Um, so differences like that allow us to tell whether we have an image or whether we have a percept, but it's not always so clear, which makes sense if the two really are very similar and drawing the same system.